We are still very hopeful that uh, IMF uh, program uh, will materialize. Our ninth review by IMF, uh, we have met all terms and conditions, and hopefully, we'll have some good news. We have met all conditionality. I repeat, each and every requirement of IMF as prior actions have been met. Some of those actions are um, met after the board's approval. But this time, uh, IMF required that those actions have to be met. Pakistan in April 2022 was at the verge of uh, default because the government of the day had violated IMF's agreement and the economy was in tatters. Then we had uh, devastating floods in August 2022. Combined with we were facing galloping inflation because of international comparison. Would you, would any civilized country allow this kind of vandalism against the state, which happened on 9th of May in Pakistan? I just want to cite one example. What happened on 6th of January 2021 in Capitol Hill in Washington? Aren't those perpetrators being tried? And I think I'd like to put this uh, matter in its uh, uh, correct perspective. Imran Khan was arrested on 9th May on no other charge except serious corruption charges, charges of malpractice and uh, wheeling, dealing and corruption. And the law had to deal with he for a period of time he had been preparing his people mentally his uh, bunch of uh, thugs I call it to react violently in case he's arrested he planned this uh, very serious criminal act against the state of Pakistan. He incited his people. Those people who have attacked civilian insulations will be tried under civilian law. And those people who have attacked military insulations and desecrated you know, those uh, uh, great institutions will be tried under the Military Act. And under this Act, once uh, the judge under this Act awards punishment, two appeals lie for the defendant. One in the High Court and then in the Supreme Court of Pakistan, uh, people of Pakistan are extremely happy over this wonderful development. I will work very closely with my brother, President Taibur a visionary leader, a man of uh, commitment and uh, who believes in public service. And I hope our relations would enhance to a much higher level in terms of our uh, brotherhood, understanding and economic cooperation. I always maintain and I mean it 
that uh, our two brotherly countries are like uh, uh, one soul and two hearts. They beat together, they pump together, they feel together. We speak different languages, but we understand what we are saying through our hearts. So I think it's a great opportunity of uh, solar energy, Heidel Power Project 